Hey guys, going this trick, it's been a dry loss summoning video. In the video, we'll be summoning on the Halloween banner, or it's kind of like a rerun of like the old Halloween characters. So yeah, right now, they have the 100 free time folds, and it's beautiful, man. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Whenever you get this many 10 folds, it's beautiful. This is the second time they've done this game. And Grab a Fantasy, it's kind of like a you know, normal thing that they do every so often, like during celebrations. So the fact that they're including this in Dragalia Loss is great. I love to see that. Hope you guys have good luck on your polls throughout the entire month of free poll, as well as your 10 fold summons. I got pretty good luck. Like I did poll Halloween Laxi as well as. Halloween Silius, I think that's that, what his name is. Yeah, I got two of them. That was awesome. But there's some days I actually missed some of the free polls because I forgot. I like to record my free polls. I kind of wait until I record them, but the days where I don't have time and I forget to record it and then I forget to do some of the general. So, yeah, but anyways, let's check out the, the characters you can get here. So, a lot of characters you get from the room sigils. Beside the Halloween characters, also the other characters as well, like Lissan, Kimono Lissan, anyway and Grimnir and Alberius. So yeah, if I'm gonna do the Worm Sigil, I'm gonna go for Lissan if I can't pull her anyway. But if I can't pull her, I'll probably go for Alberius. So yeah, and this first time, it's 200 Worm Sigils instead of 300, so that's awesome. I did the first time I've ever done it and it's great. You basically get 100 free pulls and you also get 100 discount from the, the Worm Sigils. It's great, like, how can I not pull on this banner, right? But yeah, in terms of the featured characters, I haven't really checked. There's only a Halloween character, so like, Kimono Listan is not in here, so chances are I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be pulling Kimono Listan from the, or like, I'll be picking her from the Worm Sigil thing. But if I do end up pulling her somehow with the 0.005% rates, then I'll go for Alberius, but... Yeah, anyways, let's get right into it. So, we're gonna do the free summons first. So, let's go. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. 100 free pulls. That's awesome. Oh, the, the rates were like 4%, right? So, it's not really that great. Oh, never mind. We got a, a, what you call a 5 star. It'd be a 5 star dragon, but you know, whatever. It's still a 5 star, right? And it's free too. I cannot take it, right? Alright, okay, at the Lance. Oh okay, yeah, I think it's gonna be Halloween Lissan. If you guys didn't know, I have so much history with Halloween Lissan. I remember pulling her, or trying to pull her when she first came out. I think it was like a month or two after the game first came out. And I, I tried to pull for her, I could not get her. I only spent like 9,000 Wormites, which at the time, it was kind of a lot. Oh no, we got Melsa, okay. That's cool. But yeah, at the time, that, that was a lot. Because the game first came out, so 9,000 was a lot of Wormite and... Could not pull her. And also at the time, right? <laughs> they had the, the five star worm prince in the the gotchas. <laughs> not only did I get a whole bunch of five star dragons, but I got a whole bunch of five star worm mites. <laughs> worm prince, not worm mites. So that was bad. <laughs> Thank god they removed the, the worm prince out of the, the gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna skip the ones that we don't get anything, so that way it'll save us some time, but yeah. <laughs> so I kinda pulled in the first time around. So the next year comes around and I try to pull for her again. And this time I think I spent like a good amount. I think it was like maybe over 30,000 Wormite. I think I also might have bought some Wormite as well, or Diamantium as well. <laughs> and I could not pull her. Like at the time, like, I only got a 5 star. I, I'm too busy to Oh wow, get a Halloween Akasha. Alright, I'll actually keep going through this, but yeah, I, I couldn't pull her. And I, I think I spent some money as well, I could not pull her. And at the time, there was no Worm Sigil. I, think I'm gonna be sick. I couldn't spark her. I had to keep pulling and hopefully I get lucky. So I spent like at least 30,000, which, you know, is a lot. I'm not sure how many he spent, but it, I know it's at least 30,000. Maybe more. Yeah, I was like really mad, but also sad. I, I could not pull her. I, mean, I wasn't sad or mad. I was disappointed. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> That's a better word to describe how I felt. It's been two years and I could not pull her. Halloween Mem- Oh my god, I'm pulling all the Halloween characters. All I need is like, what? Halloween someone, right? It's Halloween who? Alistan, it's Alistan, that's the only one I had to pull <laughs> in order to like complete the collection in this video, I guess. So yeah, Alistan, or at least more specifically, Halloween Alistan always evades me. I was disappointed that year, second year, cannot pull her. This was unit I wanted so much. I love Alistan, she's like one of the best characters in this game, waifu and stuff like that. Not only that, but the Halloween all and I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday, so I really wanted it so bad. Like, it was the first seasonal character too. So like, I wanted her, but I could not get her. Third year comes by. Actually, not, not even. Th there she is. <laughs> uh, here's me talking about her. I, I don't need her anymore. But yeah, third year comes around. Uh, yeah, not third year, but like, they did a rerun in like the middle of like March or something. So I pulled on the banner again, 
and this time I was actually able to bowl her. I think it was like two and a half years, <laughs> or I don't know, something like that. So yeah, that video was so much fun to edit as well as to record. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. I put so much effort into that video. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh man, I, I sometimes I actually go back and watch that video because of the edits. I put like what about uh, Gohan edits. I put like the video like the day of fate has finally come, and then put in the. The song used in Team 4 Star and as well as Gohan going Super Saiyan 2. Oh, that, that, that is so cool. Like, it, it gives me goosebumps all the time when I see it because I'm just a big or a huge Gohan fan. So, yeah, I, I, I just love that video. Like, to this day, that video is my, or by far my most favorite Dragalia Lost video ever. I highly recommend checking it out if you guys haven't, like, or if you guys are interested anyway. I'm not gonna force you guys into checking it out. But yeah, I definitely had a lot of fun in that video for sure. Yeah, now I have her now, which it just doesn't really matter. I pulled her again, but it's good to see her again. You can't really do anything with dupes anyway, so it's kind of useless. Which also brings me to my next point. I kind of wish that in this game, they kind of do something with dupes, because I feel like that would be a great way to like monetize the game more. If you guys haven't checked the, the revenue for this game, well, at least about like a month of October. Yeah, Drugali Lost made about 1.1 million dollars. I think it was in dollars. So it's a lot of money for a mobile game, but it's not that much compared to the other mobile games. It's pretty good for a mobile game though. And I think it's a combined revenue for everything, like every server, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, 1.1 million, that's a lot of dollars. That's awesome to see this game doing well. Especially it's, it's the anniversary. It's good to see it doing well. Like, I think normally, Dragalia Lost makes it, like, slightly less than a million. I think it makes, like, I don't know, it, it varies. It goes from, like, 600,000 to, like, 1 million. It, it varies, like, it depends on the month and what banners they have, but... Yeah, it kind of ranges around there. So, yeah, to see the anniversary doing really well, it, it's awesome. They made 1.1 million in one month. Can you imagine 1.1 million in one month, like, a monthly salary? That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, in terms of... Keeping this game up, I know for a fact it's not cost 1.1 million to keep this game up. I'm pretty sure it probably costs maybe like one tenth of that, maybe. Mm, I don't know. It really depends on I don't know. It depends on a lot of things. Like you gotta worry about the the salaries of the people working there. You also gotta worry about the artwork, the voice work, the the animations and stuff, and also. Like, that's marketing. They don't really market this game that much. They don't really... Do they do commercials? I think they, do, they just do ads, right? They don't really do commercials. But yeah, they also got that. Servers, maintenance, and all that stuff. At the end of the day, I don't think it costs that much for everything. Like, it probably costs a decent amount, but still make more money than they spent. Alright, so we did 100 free pulls. We got all the Halloween characters in 100 free pulls. Basically, I have everybody, so it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. And actually, I have enough tickets to really... Just do the rest of the 100 pulls. I actually, I had to spend one <laughs> wormite for the one single pull, but for the most part, I have enough tickets to cover that rest of the 100, so that's awesome. Yeah, let's just do the tickets then. So glad they added the, the multi summon with tickets. So 1.1 million, the dry lost. It's so awesome. Like, it by no means bad. Oh, we got two five star characters. So, really great to see this game doing well, especially for the anniversary with the whole reducing content thing, even though it's not really anything. Crazy, it's not anything bad, but I'm pretty sure they're probably looking at the anniversary to see or how this game does to determine like what the feature of this game would be. And since the anniversary did really well, I'm pretty sure they're probably very happy with that. <laughs> Personally, I don't think Dragali Lost will shut down anytime soon. <laughs> it's only mobile games out there that make less than Dragali Lost and have been here longer. Yeah, Dragali Lost is doing really well. So no need for any like fear and stuff like that. But I'm not sure how long Dragali Lost will go for, but hopefully for a couple more years. <laughs> I'm hoping this game lasts for like 10 years. I love to play this game for 10 years, but at the same time, we'll see. Every day, more mobile games are being made and being, you know, released and stuff. So who knows, maybe side game will make Dragali Lost 2 one day. If they do shut down Dragali Lost, they might make another one. We never know. Yeah, this game is a lot of fun. So, I really hope this game lasts for a very long time. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. Which also brings me to my point with the dupes. If Psy Games was to make more money for Dry Loss, I think they should do something with the dupe system. Look at this, all these characters I'm getting as dupes. If only there's something I can actually do with them, but if they ever implement a way 
for me to use these dupes and make my character stronger that would be awesome not only can they monetize the game more which gives people more incentive to keep pulling on a banner like especially for the whales to keep pulling on the banner to make their characters stronger it also it benefits us as well non-whales there's so many characters like i pull as dupes and i wish i can really use to make them stronger like it just stinks getting eldwater for dupes like i really wish there's a way for me to actually use these dupes there's no incentive for me to keep pulling or for me to like get a dupe Lissan <laughs> and not have anything to do with it like if I can you know use this Lissan to make my other Lissan stronger that'd be awesome. This game is not a PvP based game so having dupes in this game wouldn't really be bad. The only time like dupes are bad is when you know the like, PvP based game and power creep matters and whales being stronger matters but this game the PvE games like having whales get a lot more dupes than you or having more money to spend to make the character stronger than your character really does not matter. The only time it really matters is the time attack event. Personally, I do not care about that event. Personally, I think they should do something with dupes. That way, the game makes more money. And I want the game to be more successful and stuff like that. And that way, they have more leeway. As well, with more money, they make the game even better. And I also want something to do with dupes because I hate getting dupes and not having anything to do with them. So I think it's a win-win for both side games and us. And also good for whales as well. They can make the character stronger. It also gives them more incentive to pull on banners. Whereas right now, since dupes do absolutely nothing, there's no point of people to keep pulling after getting a character. So yeah, overall, I think doing something with dupes would be beneficial for everybody. But at the same time, there's a whole power creep thing you guys you know can complain about which kind of stinks but a lot of mobile games power creep is normal it happens like even this game it still happens but this game has seen power creep before like you know gala xenthia gala bahamut those two characters are stupid strong so you can't deny that there's power creep in this game but i do notice that the power creep in this game is not so bad of the mobile game but like before dupes don't really affect anybody in this game since it's not a pvp based game it really won't affect most of us if whales get stronger characters by having more money to get dupes overall i think dupes will be beneficial for everybody so yeah but let me know what you guys think about them doing something with dupes it's kind of a it's not really touchy subject but i guess power creep is more of a touchy subject than dupes so definitely let me know what you guys think about that Personally, I think they should do something with dupes. Mostly because I hate getting dupes and you know, not, not being able to do anything about this. I don't just feel like it's a waste, you know? Like, I got lucky to pull a character, which I can't even use. All I get is L water from it. Like, I don't need any more L water. <laughs> so, I'd love to see something, you know, with dupes. That's just me, though. I am a huge casual in this game. It doesn't really affect me at all. But for more of the hardcore players, let me know what you guys think about the dupes system. Or what they, if they do something with dupes in the future. Because personally, I think that'd be really cool if they did something like that. But also another thing is, I'm wondering if they're ever gonna lower the, the worm schedules from 300 to 200. Like how they do in this banner. Maybe this is like experimenting and see how this banner does with the lower worm schedules. And depending on how the banner does, maybe they'll change the worm schedules from 300 to 200. Kind of like in Princess Connect Redive, if you guys played that game. They changed the worm schedule, a sparking thingy from 300 to 200 and it's permanent so very curious to see if they're gonna do that in this game because it'd be nice for a sparking to cost 24,000 vermite that'd be kind of cool i got a sword with a sword in this banner i don't know <laughs> I, I i don't I have no idea don't you have to be stupid somewhere else Nine till four. i really want pecorin in this game so i hope i can pull her all right let's see what the sword guy is or girl i don't know who this is oh david holy snap <laughs> uh, look, look at this david an old character like i wish you could do something with david you know and make him stronger yeah like having dupes would be kind of cool in my opinion anyway not everybody likes dupes so yeah definitely let me know what you guys think about that all right last summon and we're ending off with the five star that's awesome even though it could be a dupe <laughs> which i can't even okay it's a bow okay so it might be a luis which is the dupe for me Laranoa would be a dupe for me. Is there a Halloween character that's the bold character? I don't think so, right? I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Luis, <laughs> one of the old characters. I would love to do something with this dupe, but I got 8,500 L water instead. But overall, Dry Lost is doing really well. So that was a fucking lie. So I'm glad. Even if they don't do dupes or monetize this game more, which I feel like they should monetize the game more. And I feel like the best way to monetize this game is by doing dupes. Maybe side games want to monetize the game. Like I know that there's a whole thing with Nintendo not wanting side games to monetize the game, so I don't know, maybe that's why they haven't done anything with dupes. But then again, even in Grand Fantasy, dupes don't really do anything. They only give you like the moons, which isn't really, you know, anything crazy. Even with Princess Connect Redive, they don't really do anything with dupes as well. They only give you 50 divine amulets, so maybe it's a side games thing, I don't know. But you have 200 worm sigils, we'll go for Kimono Lissan, look at her, she looks beautiful. <laughs> oh man, 
I think I'll beer is a really good too. This art looks so cool though. Look at that. He has the the, the dragons. Wow, that's awesome. Oh man. I'm curious, will I ever do a Nala Gala Yudin the character? Kind of cool, right? They have Gala Yudin right now, but I'm curious if they ever do something new. Patrick, your genius is showing. Maybe do something else, like some Gala do like something else. Some kind of special limited banner or something in the future. Who knows? But I trade for Lissan, my girl. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I have all the Lissans now, I think. I could be wrong. It's kind of my goal to get, collect all the Lissans, the Cleos, and the Mims. You know, all of the, the, the main heroines in this game. <laughs> so let's go check out really quick. So let's go over here. Also, I'm curious to see if they're going to do another like rarity in this game. Like, that's also another way they can monetize this game. Is by doing 6 star characters instead of 5 stars. I'm really curious to see if they ever do that. But, I don't know. Maybe not. But let's see, where is she? She's the fire character. She's all up here. There it goes. Right here. Okay, so look at the art though. Look at this. Oh, look at the girls. <laughs> oh, man. If, I'm, I really hope they release the Mim as an alt. You poor, ugly thing, you. They have the Cleo, right? I could be wrong. I think you caught the Cleo. Yeah, there is. It's I, I, I didn't get it, though. But look at her. She looks so cool. Look at that. She's about to paint you, too. <laughs> but, oh, they have Halloween voice lines, too. Okay, so let's listen to everything. All right, let's go. Brilliant kimonos. Brilliant Kuramatsu. Hinamoto celebrates the new year in many forms. It seems kite flying contests are popular during the new year. I swear mine shall soar highest of all. I shall do all I can to ensure we continue to enjoy days such as this. Alright, and listen to the Halloween voice lines. This reminds me of the church's harvest festival. Though that was far more austere. Honestly, it would probably be a little more fitting if I used the Halloween list sand instead. Anyway, look at the art, man. Oh, look at all three of them. All three of the best girls <laughs> in the main story. And the waifus. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, okay, so look at this. It's so cool. I don't understand how people can walk in this thing. It looks really hard to walk in. I mean, there is like a little, it's called a slit. I think, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> that you can actually move your legs through. But at the same time, it looks kind of bad. I don't know. For me, it's like I feel like I would trip every second wearing this thing. Like, what's the guy version? It's like, is it yukatas? I don't know. It's like yukatas, kimonos. Like two different things depending on the celebration, I think, or something. I don't know. I'm not too keen on... Japanese culture, so look at this. She's about to trip, <laughs> but it looks really nice, though. I like it a lot. Actually, we ended off looking at her, but yeah, anyways, that's kind of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you had good luck in this banner uh, if you got the polling. Hope you had good luck on your free polls if you got polls, Stupid. or obviously, you got polls. <laughs> but great to see this game doing well. I love this game a lot. Hopefully, this game lasts for a very long time. Because I have so much fun playing this game. <laughs> but anyways, if you want to watch lost videos, be sure to like the subscribe button. I plan to do more of this game. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about dupes as well. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about it. Yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.